Phantom Liberty, the first and most likely the last DLC of Cyberpunk came out and it did not disappoint. This DLC basically brought Cyberpunk back to life together with the 2.0 patch and now the game is how it should have been 3 years ago. Hey, better late than never. Phantom Liberty came with a new region of the map called Dogtown and I absolutely love it. If you thought Night City was in a bad state, you haven't seen Dogtown. It's this poverty stricken neighborhood of Night City that is ruled by a former soldier called Kurt Hansen and it's really well made. It gives off this feeling of despair because everybody is suffering in the city and are under a strict military dictatorship while Hansen and his buddies are living a luxurious lifestyle because Dogtown is a hub for money laundering and gun trafficking and it's used by the richest persons in the world. But by far the best part about the DLC is the story. The basic premise is that the president of the US is crashing down in Dogtown and her assistant Songbird asks V for help and offers a cure. Because remember V has that relic in his head that is slowly killing him and makes him see John Wick from time to time. We also get the help from Solomon Reed who is played by Idris Elba and he is a special agent. He is by far my favorite character in the DLC, the acting and voice acting were flawless and the way he was written is amazing. Actually every character is written really good and the characters make the story of this DLC so good because no character is good or evil or right or wrong, they all have their reasons for doing what they do. The only problem that I have is that in the first few hours the DLC is pretty mid, like it's not bad but nothing really special happens but as it goes on it becomes so good. And the choice that the DLC forces you to make between Reed and Songbird is really good because no matter what you will choose you won't be right or wrong. And the endings that I won't go too much into now because I will make another video explaining them all share this theme that is present in the game that there are no happy endings in Night City. If you help Songbird you lose your chance at the cure and if you turn her to Reed and do get cured V loses too much of his former self so either way things don't turn out good for V. So every ending is tragic in its way and I always love the endings that are not either good or either bad. I like endings that are more morally ambiguous and I'm glad CDPR delivered on this. Oh, and the ending credit soundtrack is so good, please get this man to do a James Bond song. Now let's talk about the other stuff that this DLC offers. Firstly the side quests that they added aren't anything that special except a quest connected with Mr. Hands who is this fixer from the base game and that quest is pretty good. Also there is this quest where a random dude asks you for help to escape the militia in the city and tells you to meet him somewhere and I don't know if I did something wrong or didn't do something but when I got there the guy that was looking to kill the dude that asked me for help was there to kill me so I killed him and went to find the first guy and I found him headless hanging from a roof. This quest was either made to show how cruel Dogtown is or is the most randomest quest I've ever seen. So the side quests are a bit boring and the game also introduced these new gigs in which you steal cars and they are very repetitive. I've done about 10 of them and legit they are the same, you steal a car from the street and deliver it to a location, that's it. And another cool but repetitive new activity are these airdrops that randomly fall in Dogtown that give you legendary weapons and upgrades. And that sounds really good until you open like 5 of them and get all the new weapons available and then you just get them over and over again. So overall the DLC is amazing, the story is unbelievable, the map also amazing, the other stuff may be a bit mid but play the story and you'll forget all about it. If you liked the video maybe like and subscribe and I'll see you soon, goodbye.